Welcome to G-Tech Reviews. This is your boy, Gorilla Tech, coming to you live with all the latest news and reviews on the latest tech. So stay tuned and stay true. Let's get it started. So this is my one month review on the Lenovo Legion Go versus the Asus ROG Ally. So this is my one month review and this is my take on both of these devices. They're both awesome devices. They do it all. I feel like we're living in the fucking future right now. <laughs> We're living in the future right now. This is something I've dreamed about since a little kid. I always wanted an all-in-one device. Ever since I had a PSP, I'm like, I wish this PSP could do more than just play games. Fast forward to today, here we are. You know what I'm saying? We got two full-fledged, fully operational computers compacted into handheld designs, which I find crazy, 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 crazy. Because I've been looking for a laptop, a gaming laptop replacement for a while now. I wanted to have a compact setup, a really compact setup where I could have the computer, a MIDI keyboard of some sort, some, something like this, you know, maybe something smaller, a Kai MPC, you know, something to control my, my musical software with. I didn't want to lug around a laptop, an external device, a hard drive, a controller. You no, know, I wanted something really small and compact. So I went down the rabbit hole looking for compact computers, 14 inch gaming laptops, Surface Pros, everything. I, I tried everything and I just did not like it. You know, the Surface Pros were underpowered. They never had a good GPU nor an iGPU. You would have to, plug in an external GPU to get any graphical power out of a Surface Pro. You know, the gaming laptops, you already know how that go. More bulkier, you gotta plug them in. Fans are crazy loud, but you do get the performance. Fast forward to today, here we are with these beautiful devices. I first got this Ally in, uh, I think I bought this in September, and I had a great time with it, I had a blast with it. One of my favorite devices, one of my favorite tech purchases until now. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie to you. The Go has its quirks. The Go has its quirks. It's a fresh device. It needs to be optimized. So I'm waiting for the update. I bought one first week of launch. It was horrible. The software was horrible. Everything was glitchy. The games ran, ran awful. I took it back. And I ended up buying another RG Ally, right? But then I started missing the bigger screen because I use these devices as my main device. So I would use this device to edit photos, shoot vid uh, edit videos, play the game, make music, surf the web. And you could do so much. You only could do so much on the seven inch screen, right? I bought an external portable monitor, but you don't want to pop that out every time, right? So when they came out with the 8.8 .8 inch screen, 2K resolution, I was like, yeah. Here we are, finally. Somebody came up with something that I need. Right now, I'm running the beta BIOS, the latest beta BIOS on the, the Lenovo Go and the beta video drivers. And it's been running flawless. And all my games run perfectly. I love it. RG Ally, well optimized. It's been out for just a little bit over six months now. It's been out. Love it. Runs flawlessly. I'm going to be going over a few points about these two devices. Who are these for? Why did I purchase these devices? Use case scenarios. Which one am I keeping? And are these a good desktop slash laptop replacement? And my final verdict on which I choose. So just a couple pros and cons of each device. Like the pros for this Legion Go, it has an immersive 144 hertz, 8.8 .8 inch screen, modular design, comfortable design, comes with the carrying case, has two USB 4 ports, eGPU support, and removable control. The pros are the Ally, it has an eye-catching design, compact and portable, immersive audio, these speakers are crazy, beautiful seven inch, 120 hertz display with VRR, great software for ease of use, quiet fans, great build quality, minus the SD card issues, mm, Asus, Asus, and the holiday price at the moment of recording this is $200 off. So right now it's $699 Canadian. The starting price used to be $899. So it's $200 off. Right now the Legion Go is $950 Canadian. So the price that th this ally is at right now is a, it's a steal. It's a go. Like if, you, if you're on a tight budget or whatnot, you don't care about the big screen, this is a major go. A couple of the cons, a couple of things I don't like. It's kind of bulky. It's kind of, it's a chunky boy. It's a thick boy right here, man. 
I'm surprised that Lenovo went with a one fan cooling solution. So it has one fan, so it makes the fan a bit louder because it has to work a bit harder. And one thing I did notice when I did open Lenovo Go, I don't know if you can see through the camera, but there's no filter behind the grill in order to stop dust from building up inside the device. I did not like that. The audio, not it. This is not it. The software is not optimized yet. There's not a straightforward way to check for updates to make sure your device is up to date and the drivers are up to date. You kind of got to jump through a couple of hoops and figure things out, jump on Reddit, jump on YouTube. Kind of annoying if you're not techy or hands-on with Windows. And it feels more like a tablet with controllers connected to it, which I don't mind. I don't mind that, you know, but all in all, the device, it's solid. I don't have any of the issues that other reviewers are speaking on. My grips aren't wobbly, you know, it's pretty sturdy. I heard some uh, reviewers com com complaining about the rails and <clears throat> it being wobbly and hard to put back in. I never had that issue. It's pretty straightforward. Put it in, slide up, wow, hear that click, good to go again. When I plug in an external hard drive, it does not disconnect or any, any weird stuff that I've been hearing. I have a really good device. I got a good unit. I have my gripes with this, but it's mainly software related. So I'm hoping with the future updates that they improve on Legion Space. They tried with the little update the other day, added a few things, right? Like they added this quick settings menu. The frame monitor works now. I do not use Legion Space. I don't press this button. Like, there's no point. Like, that's, that, yeah, <laughs> that needs work. But uh, I do love, this is what I love about this, because I use this as my everyday device. I do love the fact I could just turn this into a tablet. It's almost like a mini, a mini uh, Surface Pro with more, just a little bit more juice. Got the kickstand. Boom, 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 push these aside. You got the kickstand. If you made the purchase, like I got this uh, Pro 2 Arc foldable keyboard. So now, boom, boom. You got a mini laptop set up right there. You can whip this out where you're at. You can get some work done. Duh, 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 duh. Good to go, you know? Love it. When it comes to the Ally, when it comes to the Ally, some of the cons, as everybody knows, SD card failure, rampant on these. It only has one USB-C 3.1 point. I don't know why they did not add a 4.0. Actually, I do know why. They want you to spend more money, but tis tis, Asus, tis tis. If I'm gonna lie, it's a love-hate situation with the Ally right now because I love the design, you know? Oh, by the way, this is a case by Skull & Co. It adds, like, you know, a bit more grip so you can handle the device better. You know, really love it. Oh, yeah, by the way, the Skull & Co. case for the RG Ally, because this is thicker, it's almost like having a built-in stand. You don't got to just plop it down and it's standing, right? I actually, I actually really like that feature of the case. I also bought the Skull & Co. hardcover travel case, the, the EDC case. It fits it perfectly, even with the case on. comes with a little microfiber cloth. But this case is a major goal, too. It's really good. With the case on, put this on just to hold it in. Boom, 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 zip that up. You're good to go. Nice and compact, nice and thin compared to the, the ghost case. But yeah, I love and hate relationship with this device just because of this right here. If this was a 4.0 USB-C, I would have kept it because I could add any eGPU. There's a whole slew of eGPUs coming out next year. So this would have been perfect if I had access to Thunderbolt, but I don't. Nobody wants to shell out 
you know, $1,500 plus just for XG Mobile that you can only use for one device. That's crazy to me. I nearly made the purchase, but I said, nah, you know what? It's not even worth it. Because if I get rid of this, then the XG Mobile is useless to me, right? Unless I have another device that has the same port, which I don't. So it has no third-party eGPU support. You have to buy ASUS's eGPU, the XG Mobile, which is hard to get in Canada for some reason. They don't sell it in the stores. I do not know why. They sell these in every Best Buy, but I cannot find an XG Mobile for the life of me. And it did not come with the carrying case. It did not like that. By this expensive device, you're trying to compete with the likes of Steam Deck, and you don't include a carrying case, ASUS? Come on, bro, what are you doing? And it has a smaller 7.0 inch screen. I don't think that's a con necessarily, but if you plan to work on this device and this is your only computing device, that 7.0 inch screen can feel a little bit cramped after a while. So, my final verdict, if you're using this as a laptop replacement, one of these devices as a laptop replacement, I highly recommend that you go with the Legion Go. If you're just gaming and you have your main rig, you know, whether it's a desktop, a laptop, your console, and you just want something that's portable with the power to play some up-to-date games, go with the Ally. Because right now, the, the price that it's at, it's like the same price as a PS5, so and you get way more than a PS5 in this little small package, right? You could also plug it into the TV, use a, a controller, boom, console. So that's my review on the Legion Go versus the ROG Ally and what, this, what device I decided to go with. Leave some comments down below and let me know which device you decided to choose. And also, thank you for staying tuned for this very, very special video to me because this is my first YouTube video. And uh, leave some uh, tips down in the comments on what you would like me to review, uh, ways I could uh, make better videos, more entertaining videos, more informative videos. And yeah, man, let's rock on. Let's get this going, bro. Like, these are two beasts right here, man. Like, you, I, I, I doubt... I highly doubt that you're gonna be you're, you're gonna feel like you're missing out with either purchase. They're both great devices, right? If you get the ROG Ally, you're good. If you get the Legion Go, you're good. You know, so don't 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 feel like you're missing out. If you already have an Ally, you don't necessarily need this unless you want the bigger screen and the USB 4.0. If you don't care about those things, you are perfectly fine with this device right here but yes you know thank you guys for locking in thank you guys for staying this far in the video and i'm about to see you guys in the next one gorilla tech out